This is the entrance, the main entrance to a temple called Tanir Malai Sri Palatandyotapani Devastanam, I think. <laughs> Brilliant, good job. <laughs> Uh, one strange thing here yeah, in Penang is there's a lot of one-way roads and it's incredibly hard to cross the streets because the traffic, the traffic just keeps coming non-stop all hours of the day. You, the only way to really do it is to find a pedestrian crossing where and there's a light. They're few and far between. Few and far between. Yeah, you get a proper two for one on this side of the road there's a Burmese Buddhist temple and behind me on this side of the road there's a Thai temple Quite impressive. It's incredible. Amazing, eh? It's so beautiful. Wow, and like glittery. Yeah, that's the shiny. Gold it's is shiny. incredible. It's well worth uh, having some sunshine. I want to check out that all though. You want to go in first? Let's go in here first. All right, let's go check out uh, the reclining Buddha. And uh, you're not allowed to wear shoes inside, obviously. And also, no caps and hats, or eating or drinking, and keep your voice down. Chinese astrology. Uh -huh. And I am You have the dog. Nice. Luckily, we're not the. You have the pig. So it could be worse. Oh, it's pretty impressive. So if you're in this part of Penang, come check it out. It's actually very close here to Gurney Plaza, Gurney Paragon Mall area. And you see on my shoulder there, the tip of the jelly sticking out. Uh, we're gonna head across the road and go check out the Burmese temple while we're here. Side, interestingly, that is gold, but on woodwork. The woodwork is phenomenal. Carvings everywhere, even the ceilings. Really, pretty amazing. It's a Technicolor dream coat, Buddha. Wow. That was great. Yeah, the Burmese temple is definitely very different, but beautiful as well. Yeah, if you're in the area, come check it out. I highly mm. recommend it. It's super calm and peaceful. People are super friendly. And you know, if you want to chat to someone, there's always someone at hand. But it's very uh, beautiful. The rain does look a little bit threatening, but I yeah. think we're going I to... I think we put our coin in the right one for good weather. <laughs> that was good. And uh, it looks like the class skies are clearing. Okay. Well, if... Let's try our luck and see how far we can get. This is the entrance, the main entrance to a temple called Tanir Malai Sri Palatandyotapani Devastanam. I think. <laughs> Brilliant, good job. <laughs> <laughs> right. That was a mouthful. Yeah, yes. And if you can pronounce that, you go straight to the highest point. <laughs> it's known as Waterfall Temple. Now, we actually walked from the other temples here. It's not recommended on a hot day. It's about, it took us about 30 minutes, I would say. Nice, leisurely stroll, but it's overcast. Three and, and a half kilometers from there, four kilometers. From there? 
Well, was... No, it's about two kilometers walk from the the the, the, Buddhist, uh, the Hindu temples. Right? Uh, anyway, well, take a grab of, it's of us. Yeah, take it. Don't, don't do it. It's hot. We're gonna have a look around here. It's got all these different shrines and little temples in, you know, on these grounds, Hindu temples. So we're really There's covering all our bases here today. Yeah, of Lord Shiva. Shiva, that's right. There's a statue of Lord Shiva in meditation here somewhere. Open eyed meditation, which shows calmness. Wow, all right. I think I'm gonna be doing closed eyed meditation. <laughs> This is one small problem. It takes 513 steps to the top of this hill. 513. Also, just take note that the, the temple itself is actually closed during certain hours of the day. So I think from 12 o'clock to 4 o'clock it's closed. It doesn't mean you can't go up there. It just means you might not be able to access the temple. And I'm wondering whether they're going to have some motivational messages all the way up the staircase because it starts over here with a nice motivational message. Every meaningful journey begins with the first step. Yeah, I don't know if that's going to help. Shall we check it out? Okay, we... What? 20 steps in? <laughs> uh, five... 493 to go. <laughs> you, it's going to be fun. I just want to point out that I ran 6 kilometers this morning. I didn't, because I knew we were doing this. <laughs> so maybe that was a terrible idea. <laughs> but, let's say I was preparing myself. said the temple is closed but we also here just for the view actually the temple looks a lot smaller up close than it does from afar Yep, the shade is a uh, welcome relief. Um, look, it's no joke to walk up here in the middle of the day. It's not exactly recommended. But the advantage is if you want a great view, there's nobody else around, mm, which is quite really nice. Cool. I think uh, being able to go inside the temple would have been interesting. I just peeked through the, the window. At least you can see inside. Mm -hmm. But to escape the heat, it would have been nice to be inside of it. Anyway, we're heading down our 513 steps. I think we've done 13, less than 500 to go. I feel like this should be the end of it. Nope, from here we still got one more stop. Okay, maybe this one more stop. I think I might just have to sleep here. <laughs> now we're inside the Penang Botanical Gardens. It's free entry and it's quite expansive and there's like um, plant houses you can visit and there's trails and routes you can walk. And there's running paths mm. and apparently a little bit of swimming flash pool somewhere as well. And what's really cool is they also have a very long hours. So they open at 5 a.m. and close at 8 p.m. with the intention that the locals can use the park before and after work. Mm. Very nice facility. <sighs> Alright, so I'm waiting for Very the ambulance nice. to collect me. No jokes. Alright, okay, this is probably the end of our trip for now. Maybe we'll go to a food market later. But if not, we'll end the video here and we'll take it up next time. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Yeah.